Well, good sporting news came from the cricket grounds today of uh, Durban. India registered a thumping 87-run win over South Africa to level the three-match series at 1-1 in Durban. The South Africans lost wickets at regular intervals and were staring down the barrel when they lost the crucial wickets of Carlos and de Villiers in quick succession. As expected, Zaheer Khan proved to be the pick of the bowlers and was ably supported by all the other bowlers as well. This is the second time India has won a test in South Africa, the last being in Joburg. With a brilliant bit of fielding, runs up. Now, we have been profiling some very talented young men and women in our Margari special here on NDTV Hindu today. We strike a chord with a young vocalist who juggles between a very demanding career and a rather enduring passion for music. Uh -huh. Swarna Retas normally sits behind a computer, but during Margari, he is often seen behind a microphone. A postgraduate in mathematics from Loyola College, Retas is also an emerging vocalist. And when he chose to launch into Karahara Priya at the concert in Krishnagana Sabha, grey-haired Rasikas nodded their heads in approval. That's high praise in Chennai. <laughs> Retas kept the audience enthralled in an energetic performance. Many even stayed to listen to Tani Avtanam of the instrumentals instead of walking out for a cup of coffee and kesari. The entire concert had the Rasikas glued to their seats, not surprising really since Retas has been a sishya of Sanjay Subramanyam for the last 10 years and used to play the tambura at Sanjay's concerts. Songs in the concert list that I've planned that are not sung or not learned directly under him, I probably picked them up from tapes or something like that. Then I go to him you know, in advance and sing those songs to him once to get it corrected and ensure that it's right. And then I can confirm it as, an, as a part of my concert list. Keeping track of his professional goals at 10 Miles Corporation and following the scales of his passion, which is music, comes naturally to young Retus. Things like an occupational hazard simply don't exist for him. The sort of company and the sort of people that I work with is, uh, you know, it's a little more flexible, it's a little easier. We're a, you know, the startup culture is very prevalent within the company, so it's easier for us to do what we actually want to do, you know, in other aspects of life also. <laughs> an artist like Retas proves that passion and profession can enjoy a successful marriage and live together happily ever after. In Chennai, this is Divya Kumar for NDTV Hindu. Well, there are no full stops when it comes to music, is there? That's all the news tonight, but up next, watch the special edition of Corridors of Power, where our executive editor Sanjay Pinto gets talking with the Commissioner of Police of Greater Chennai. That's up next.